With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, in this question it is asked that what is the maximum number of rectangular components into which a vector can be split in a space? Okay, four options are 2, 3, 4 or any number of components. Okay, so it is given here particularly mentioned that rectangular components. Okay, so before explaining this, let me make a graph here. Okay, so rectangular component means suppose this is my y axis. Okay, similarly, this is x axis and this is z axis. Okay, we know this. What is it? This is y, this is x axis, and this is z axis. Okay, so rectangular component or we can say orthogonal component both are same. It means all the three dimensions that is x, y, and z. Okay, here we have to represent a vector. So if I represent a vector in this space, suppose like this, okay, this is my vector and it is given the question that it is vector A, okay. Suppose this vector A, so it can be resolved in three components that is one in X axis, one for Y axis and for Z axis also, okay. So what I said, suppose this is a vector A, so it can be written as A X I cap, okay, plus A Y J cap plus a z component with k cap okay this is the general form of writing a vector here i am having i cap this represent x axis j cap which represent y axis and k cap which represent z axis so it is clearly visible that it can be resolved in three components so option two is correct thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today